they always trying to censor us and put yeah. us in a box and figure yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, well, let's stop them from cursing. <laughs> let's stop them. But you making movies. I'm seeing Ernest Schwarzenegger kill 30 mother. <laughs> I it's just true. watched Sylvester Stallone kill 50 mother. In the yeah, movie. yeah. Blowing people up, shooting their heads off and all that. But that's fine because all y'all profiting off of that. Boss talk one on one. You know, like you know, our children are man. They, they, you could like my mom. My mom raised me in the church, right? Mm -hmm. My mom had me go to Catholic school all my life. You know, she invested in my education, and I'm still a full fledged drug dealer. <laughs> at Twelve years old. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that just shows you how it is, and you got to look at it that way. You know, you look at it from your life. Look at your parents, and look at what you did. You know, your, your your parents ain't raised you to go to penitentiary. Mm -mm. They ain't raised you to sell drugs mm -mm. and then be out in that there. But you did it anyway. Anyway. Right? So. I, I want to go back to Sharani's wall, cause I know, and I'm going to let you get out of here. That mm -hmm. wall over there, I always, I, she told me about this wall and people would put uh, the new music on that wall. Explain to me this wall that I hear about that people were getting their lo their paintings put on and you would, it was like a billboard. Yeah, yeah. I want to hear about that, you know, on the outside of the building and just how that era was when, when cause it's an era that came that hip hop pretty much embraced for sure and you were able to provide for hip hop could you just give us a little insight on it well you know the old building on Gentilly Boulevard okay had this big wall which we we used to lease out the wall you know and the radio station is part of that used to have it you know they they would take the wall for a year or whatever you know and put their signs on and then when the children came around and we needed to do the marketing the wall was the best place Mm -hmm. And it was people came all over the country looking at this wall. Cause oh, did you know about that wall? Everybody know about that wall, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without a doubt, man. Was it pretty? Was it a good advertisement? A great advertisement, especially for the city. You know, Sharani was the leading, you know, record seller in New Orleans. Always had been. She had already been out there. Already been putting shit out and up, and uh, you know, doing things in the community, and you know, perpetuating rap at the time because it was growing especially in the south in New Orleans but like you said we wasn't getting a lot of no notoriety plus. and shit like that and people that. were mad because you were cursing on lyrics too because of Luke yeah you well, remember that you know, but that, that's what it is if you don't like <laughs> yeah. it don't listen to it <laughs> no I get it but you know they was the tripping they was tripping I remember they yeah, were tripping about you know, it they always trying to censor us and put yeah. us in a box and figure yeah. that yeah. okay well let's stop them from cursing <laughs> let's stop them but you making movies I'm seeing Arnold Schwarzenegger kill 30 mother. <laughs> I it's just true. watched Sylvester Stallone kill 50 mother in the Yeah, movie. yeah. Blowing people up, shooting their heads off and all that. But that's fine because all y'all profiting off of that. But when it's an individual that owns his own, especially an African-American individual, black individual, own his own, yeah. then you got a problem because why is he doing this? But you're not going after the powers that be that's perpetuating this shit in other fields. You know, you ain't with the porno field because it's who owns all of that? Who's more investing in that? You know, the fucking Vatican Church and all that got interest in all that type mm -hmm. of shit. Like things that make money, believe me, you'd be surprised who behind it. I agree with that, but one thing I've always, one thing I've always said was um, in movies, when movies happen, we always tell our kids that it is not real. It's fake. It's you know, unless it's based unless it's based on a true story. Right. But when we're the music industry, rap industry, a rapper is always like, That's my life, that's my reality, that's what I do. So a lot of kids growing up look at it like I have to be like that if I wanna be a rapper. No. Compared to when you see things in the movie, that's 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 make believe. Rap rap is more telling your story, whatever it is. Um, we told our story because that was our story. That don't mean you have to do that to be that. that. That just means that this is my story. I ain't telling you. When you do something, you have to be, you know, original to yourself. You have to be true to your story and what it is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.